If I was going to describe the RV life in one word, it would probably be fortunate. I feel very fortunate because really it's a great way to travel. It's a great way to see the country. It's a great way to meet people. It's a great way for us to be together. If we have a trip now that involves flying, I'm like, can't we take the motor home? I'm Steve Morrison and this is my wife, Lisa. We've been married for 26 years. We met at church. I was up in the sound booth and I happened to see her and said, I need to get to know that person. When we dated, I told him I was a homebody and he said he was too. That's one of those things you find out later. <laughs> it's not so true. <laughs> and to be honest, I'm still a homebody, but that's why motorhoming really is a good solution for us because we get to travel and yet I get to be home because this is our, our second home. It doesn't matter if we wake up at Yellowstone or the Grand Canyon or in a parking lot. Once we close that front door, everything inside is the same. You're not doing the hotels and flights and you can decide to go somewhere and you just really add the food and last minute clothes and you're ready to go. So I think it makes it more available. As my daughter-in-law says, we're an RV family and we used to camp when I was growing up and this beautiful new motorhome reminds me dearly of my dad and how happy he would be right. that we're doing this. I think he really would. So we're planning to take a three month trip and go from here to Cody, Wyoming, Yellowstone, Salt Lake City. It's a three month trip and that will be our biggest trip we've ever taken just the two of us. Once you're in here traveling, it's very flexible what you do and where you go. As long as there's a road there, you can pretty much go there. And it's just beautiful. I mean, you sit up in those front seats and that huge windshield. So wherever you're traveling, it's just beautiful.